G'day footy fans, Ross Glendinning here in the Carlton Draft Front Bar to launch the new Carlton Mid Clash Can. And to assist in this launch, we'll be joined by Adam Simpson, Senior Coach. Simo, this is a cracking joint, isn't it? Oh, what a great spot to watch footy from. I'm not sure where our coach's box is, but maybe half time next time we play, I might have to slip up. It's a short walk, but uh, <laughs> is it similar to what you're thinking of having at your place? No, no, not really. We are building a house at the moment, but um, this, uh, this might need a five-year extension for me to get this type of room in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the can, mate. This is the Clash can, which has been brought out this year by CUB. Nice. Uh, what do you think of it? Because uh, apparently last year's wasn't a bad can, but this is better. This does look like an improvement on the last year's can. There's not as many rough heads on it. Um, <laughs> I know you're on last year's can, mate, but uh, the new one with the logo, that looks really sharp. Yeah, really good. And I think good timing by CUB too, Coach, because we launched our new brand earlier this season with the change of the actual eagle head, which to me looks a lot stronger and aggressive. Obviously retaining our colours in the blue and the yellow. It's been really impressive and embraced by 80,000 plus uh, members. <laughs> yeah, look, uh, they did a lot of work on it, uh, as you know, and, and to have the, the final logo come out like it has. And I, I think also the this blue, as much as it stand out every time you <laughs> step outside yeah. the house, but when you go to the games now, when you, in particular at Optus, you see the crowd looks different and it looks uh, like a lot brighter and it really stands out. So uh, well done to the club on that one. The excitement from moving from Subi to here now, we're averaging something like 55,000 fans. We might get closer to 60. Yeah. It must really excite you and the players. Well, it does. And uh, to, to have the crowds, I think we're holding up the AFL a little bit there with uh, the crowds dropped off a little bit around the comp, but ours has certainly picked up and the players have held up their end of the bargain. And I think the supporters and members definitely have it at their end as well. Another huge round of applause rings around Opus Stadium and this is an intimidating place to come now for opposition teams. And the way the, the fans have invested and the members, members invested in the new logo, mate, the sales through our, our team store and around yeah. the grounds has been you know, jumpers and shorts, the whole lot, so kids. It's been really well received, so it's been fantastic. Yeah, it has, and not, not only the, the home and away jumpers, but the Indigenous jumper as well. And just the whole uh, concept of what the club went through. And it's a big transition, because it would have been a big kickback on, on the, what the traditional logo was. Uh, it, it's, it's really worked well for the club. Well, Simo, thanks very much for joining us, mate. It's uh, been great to have you here, and uh, good luck. The four or five games remaining, it's pretty tight. We won't talk finals at all, but we, we've done well. We need to continue that surge, don't we? Yeah, we do, and you know we had that period of success when we won those 10 games in a row. It's really set us up for the back end of the year, but the, the last four or five weeks are going to be so critical for where we finish in the ladder. Good luck. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. Cheers. Cheers.